G'day mateys and welcome back to the Down Under Gamer channel. It is the Down Under Gamer here and we are back with episode 11, Lucky Legs 11. Um, I blame my mum for taking me to bingo as a child. Uh, but anyway, we're back with episode 11 of our Imperium Universalis, a 2.2 .2 total conversion mod for EU4 Lydian Empire Let's Play campaign. Uh, so obviously in the last episode we came through, uh, we obviously took out Sinope because uh, we had that event that gave us a core on one of their territories, uh, which also dragged their ally Miltos uh, into the war, um, which was great because Miltos was part of our Ionian city states, um, uh, you know, mission tree. Uh, we needed to take those guys out in order to complete that mission. Um, we still have a few more to go, uh, so obviously we're going to start uh, looking at working towards them. Um, you know, uh, sort of this episode, the next episode. Uh, but for the, this episode, we've probably got a bunch. Um, a bunch of rebellions that are going to pop at some point in time. Um, you know, we're coring, still coring up a couple provinces. Uh, they'll actually be done pretty soon. Um, so we could probably look at going for another war um, pretty quickly, actually, uh, which is good. Uh, at the moment, our overall economy is looking really, really strong. Uh, we're doing sort of like 15... Uh, nearly 16 uh, ducats or talents or, or whatever the currency is per turn. Uh, if we have a look around, um, you know, obviously we've got Assyria, we've got Media, Persia is now uh, established itself. Um, Babylon, sadly, looks like they are in another civil war, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, looking over here, I did have a quick look um, before I loaded the save up. Um, none of the factions over here have really done much, you know, Rome's still hanging in there, they've sort of, you know, got a, a nice little chunk of territory now, about five or six states, whatever it is. Um, you know, Carthage, likewise, still mainly contained Africa, they haven't really done a, a great deal, unfortunately. Um, you know, quick look at Greece, um, you know, like I mentioned at the end of our Let's, Let's Play, sort of Macedon, Sparta, Athens, um, all kind of done, like, absolutely nothing, uh, sort, of, sort of just kind of being pussies, really. Um, uh, but we do have the likes of Chalcus, uh, Fosophis, uh, Ellis, um, you know, all sort of stepping up and, uh, you know, filling those bigger shoes, uh, and, uh, making the game a little bit more interesting, so, uh, but apart from that, uh, obviously if you guys are enjoying the content here on the channel, smash that subscribe button, a like and share this video, uh, and leave your thoughts, tips, tricks, all that sort of good stuff down in the comment section below. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump into today's episode. Uh, so uh, at some point, hopefully within the next week, um, I've just I've just been busy and um, I've been trying to keep this uh, up to date with this Let's Play uh, and keep sort of semi-regular content coming out for this. Um, but I am looking at uh, kicking off another Let's Play uh, and it will probably be for a Total War game. So if you are here by the chance... Um, you know, you're a Paradox and a Total War fan, um, and that might be uh, something you're interested in uh, at this stage. Um, it will probably be a mod, um, because I am, let's be honest, um, everybody's LP seed the crap out of all the vanilla games, so we'll, uh, we'll have a look at that, but I am toying with uh, one of the older, possibly maybe N Napoleon Total War 3, um, or uh, maybe like... Um, either, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, um, medieval, uh, 1212 AD for Attila, or, um, maybe DEI for, uh, Rome too, uh, so, you know, if you are here and you are a Total War fan, if you'd like to see a Let's Play for, uh, either one of those, then, um, leave a comment in the comment section below, tell me, um, you know, uh, you know, NT3, uh, DEI or uh, 1212 AD and uh, obviously if there's a specific faction then uh, let me know what faction you'd like me to play and uh, we'll uh, we'll see what we can do so oh nice one nice little boost So 
So we've probably got a bunch of rebellions that are going to pop very, very shortly. So I'm sort of a bit reserved about getting stuck into another war straight away. Um, if we declare war on this guy, that's right, and it puts us at war, so like this little enclave here. Who's a uh, Delos, Elias, right, so none of my allies will come in here, so I'd have to move really hard really fast, because there's a good chance that I could get overwhelmed by that many. Um, I could build a few more men, maybe another, yeah, maybe I'll do that, let's, um, Build a couple more infantry because obviously they're more of a, a sort of Hellenic style uh, armies um, with the hoplites and whatnot, I believe. Um, so they're possibly going to pack a little bit more of punch. So if I do attack them, I need to I need to really hit them hard and fast. Now, if I go for this guy here, who's he allied with? So actually, I'd have a couple of allies come in there. Interesting. So, obviously we've got Assos. Oh, which one is Lesbos? So that's Lesbos. Chios. So I could actually get quite a bit out of this one, couldn't I? Samos. And Samothrace, which are these guys up here. The problem is, is that's um, it's a bunch of islands. That's really pain to keep an eye on because you're constantly going to have to load armies onto ships and then drop them onto islands and da 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 da, -da and all that sort of stuff. Um, you know, do amphibious invasions, etc., etc. Um, not that it's you know in, impossible or anything, but it's still um, it is still a little bit taxing. Reform the province. Let's go with the government organisation. So we've just got a revolt. Where are we? Here. Alright. I think these guys down here are our best option. Take them and we'll get roads as well. Military leader has left us, that's no good. Um, can we recruit a general from these guys? Yes. No, we cannot. 214, oh wow. Ages away. Okay. Um, uh, he's okay, I suppose. He's not great, but better than nothing. And uh, somebody's burned down the marketplace. Assholes. So I'll have to actually look into it and the fact that it was um, it was actually a fortified city at the start. Um, but I believe Gordian there is the um, is the city that's famous for uh, you know obviously Gordian's not and if, if for those of you that aren't familiar with um, sort of like your ancient Hellenic history, Gordian's not was. Um, a thing that Alexander the Great cut. Um, so it was said that if you know a, a mortal man could undo Gordian's knot, that he was the rightful heir of sort of all of Asia. Um, and 
Alexander the Great, when he arrived, he sort of marched up and walked up to it and sort of looked at it and went, mm, okay. And then he pulled out his sword and he cut it in half and he broke the knot. Um, and then they sort of, you know, declared like, oh yes, this man is the true king of Asia. So it was very, uh, very tricky, so to speak, but it was also very, very smart. He was the only person that ever thought to do it, so... Uh, a little bit of a history sort of uh, lesson and whatnot there for those of you that weren't uh, aware of that one. So um, I believe that this is possibly the place Gordian because it was called Gordian's Knot. So who knows? It's probably probably completely wrong. It's probably like an I don't know. It's probably down in like modern day Jordan or something like that. Who knows? But anyway, it is what it is. Don't judge me. So yeah, if we go Nidus, so let's have a look at Nidus, allied with Halakonassos, which is fine, Ilias, which is fine, Lindus, which is fine, Camiros, which is fine, and Kos. Which one is Kos? This one's Kos, so we will secure this entire little salient here, which is good, gives us like a nice little um, island out here. How we look trade-wise there gives us actually a nice solid foothold in the Mare Aegean as well. So that's uh, that's actually quite good. So how far are we? So 1898, so we're almost, almost at level 1 army professionalism, which is good. So that's, uh, that's kind of where we want to be. Oh, and a profit from slavery, I love it. Okay, let's build some roads, sure. A privileged town estate will probably build roads for us, but 
But, uh, you know, I don't want to wait forever for them to do it. And uh, I kind of want to spend the money. I sort of look at this as like, um, like a real-time strategy game, I suppose, something like Company of Heroes, something like that, if you've got manpower and munitions, and da 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 all that sort of good stuff, so just sort of sitting there and doing nothing. It's just kind of wasted, you know, you should be putting that into units or putting that into, you know, buildings that produce you more income, you know, like the old Command and Conquer Generals, you know, so if you, 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 know, you had a bunch of money sitting there, a bunch of credits, you kind of went and spammed out like a bunch of, um, you know, hackers or... Um, uh, all that sort of good stuff, you know, hackers or supply drop zones and da 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 da, -da, -da so. fleet down here, get them repaired up. Uh, I totally forgot about them. Um, anyway. Anyway, it is what it is. Uh, now I can create another state which is interesting. Let's uh, check that one out quickly. I can create the state of Lycia by the looks of it. So that's going to cost me yeah, 33 in maintenance and it's only going to give me uh, 81, 0.81 at the moment. Uh, so that's not really economical at the moment. It's sort of, you know, when it starts getting up to like three, four, five times as much uh, in income, then, um, yeah, it's definitely uh, a bit more of a, a lucrative uh, reason to do it. So. Have a new idea, that's good. Oh, so this will give us technology cost will be cheaper, that's wonderful. Uh, that's why we went with that idea group in the first place. Um, so now we need to kind of wait for our admin power to build up a little bit. Um, and by then, maybe if we've got any more uh, rebellions that are going to pop, they will pop. And uh, then we can look at going to war. So, how are we tracking for time? Alright. Who are these guys allied with? Paphos. Okay. That's not good. No. Oh, and we've got the Persian Median War it is currently happening. Um, I know, if I remember correctly, I believe it is one of the Persian uh, missions is to actually like um, take a certain amount of land or whatever from um, uh, from Media. Um, so we'll see. Persia's just fairly recently formed. Uh, I think normally at this side Persia's army is not too big. It's not huge. Um, so I'd say possibly Media will maybe get the better of Persia in that war. Um, so who are they at war? war with Media. Defender against Media in the Median Persian Vassalization War. Ooh. Okay. So maybe that's a... Um, that might be a mission uh, for media, perhaps. I've never actually looked at media, so I don't know.
Hang on, it says I had a rebellion and then it took me all the way down there. I don't know why. Anyway. Let's have a quick look. The Slaves of Gadalon. Oh, poor socks. Um, I know it's terrible, isn't it? What an asshole. Uh, so let's have a look. Uh, so we need. Alright, so we don't actually need any of the islands. Um, and they're probably a bonus though if we take them. But we do. We need this. We need carrier. And we need these guys here. Alright, and we can complete that mission. So if we had a quick look at these guys, let's put that fleet out. Come down here and have a look. All right, so they've got uh, what seven, eight, it's fifteen, fifteen, twenty-one. Uh, so thirty-six thousand men between them. Um, so I need to hit hard and fast before these guys can mobilise their armies and get them over here. So one stack straight in here, wipe them. Another stack straight in here, wipe them. Um, and then uh, we kind of go from there. Oh, and then this guy here, so 36, 43,000 men. So yeah, combined, if, they, if I manage, if I allow them to pull their entire might down onto the mainland, then um, you know, allow them to link their armies up, uh, then I'm in big trouble, so, because none of my allies are going to help here. So, but that's okay, we've, uh, we can do this. We can handle these ones. Beacon of Knowledge, great. Uh, military power, that's good. Now how are we looking? We've, so we've probably got a couple more provinces that are going to rebel shortly. Um, so we might wait out. So I do apologise guys, I know this hasn't been a, a super exciting episode. Um, I'm just killing a couple of rebels and um, uh, talking to myself like a crazy person. Um, but uh, I find sometimes it's good to sit there and actually, you know, I, I, this is one thing that I haven't done a really good job at in a lot of my previous Let's Plays and videos, but I'm trying to talk a bit more and really sort of talk through what I'm thinking and what's going through my head uh, to give you guys a bit of a, um, a better understanding of how I think about the strategy and how I approach it and, and all that sort of good stuff. Um, because who knows, it may be, um, uh, it may be an interesting thing to, to look at for yourselves. So. Uh, in your own Let's Plays. Um, but we're pretty much... 
Yeah, see, this could take a while to pop, so maybe I might just go to war. I don't know. Um, all right, let's move our let's move our armies down. We'll um, we'll deal with those when the time comes. If we have to march armies all the way back, then we have to march armies all the way back. See, they'll probably both pop up to like 90% now because I'm moving these armies. I betcha. Come on. Nah. All right. Happy days. Where's the fleet? Where's the fleet? So let's get the fleet out there. Alright, and that is, um, so let the month tick over, uh, so we're pretty much out of time guys uh, and gals, uh, so what, we, what I'll do is I'll save it here uh, and then uh, next episode we will have a, another war uh, and hopefully we will take out like nice, nice little block of the Ionian city-states uh, and, you know, roads and whatnot, so, um, but that's going to be the plan. These two armies move in hard, fast, take out their armies, siege down their provinces, uh, and hopefully our fleet is big enough and strong enough. We've got, we got 9 heavies, 12, 19, um, so we've got enough transports. But have these guys got any heavy warships between them? Not that I am seeing. So that's good. Alright, so our heavy warships, with our uh, supported by our light warships, should be enough to keep their fleets, um, you know, pretty much locked away. Uh, and then it'll be a matter of just gradually coming through. It'll probably take, I dare say, most of the next episode. Come through, destroy the army, siege down their provinces, and then um, move on them from there. So, uh, but apart from that, guys, uh, gals, uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, as always, if you enjoy the content here on the channel, smash that subscribe button, a like and share this video, uh, and leave your thoughts, tips, tricks, schemes, um, you know, skullduggery plots, all that sort of good stuff in the comment section below. Uh, this is the Down Under Gamer signing off. Cheers, mateys.